everybody. Uh, I'm going to show you a new script for uh, MED FUT22. I mean, it's pretty much it's an updated, basically, version of the one for MED FUT21. It's got all the same features and functions. Uh, I plan on updating the players list in it once a week, so I will stay on top of it this season. Uh, but MedFUT has introduced some new security features uh, that prevent you from using trade if you're on an emulator or a virtual device, and it also detects root on most devices as well. Um, first, I'll show you what happens. If your device is not set up properly, See this message down at the bottom? Rooted device online modes are not available on rooted devices. So, uh, you need to be on a real device first, and it needs to be rooted, uh, but not just with anything, it needs to be rooted using Magisk. You can get it here. See the link up at the top. It's github.com slash topjohnwoo slash Magisk. And uh, down here, towards the bottom, under Useful Links, Installation Instructions. So I'm not going to go over this. This is going to be something you got to do on your own. Uh, follow the applicable instructions for your device and get your device rooted with Magisk. Then, once you're rooted, uh, you're going to have Magisk Manager. Uh, mine's right here. It's actually been uh, renamed to F-U-C-O-D. Alright, so <clears throat> if you want to rename your Magisk as extra precaution here under this manager menu, instead of restore Magisk men uh, manager, you'll see one that says hide Magisk manager, and it'll rename it like Game Guardian renames itself when you install it. Uh, down here underneath it, Magisk Magisk hide, make sure it's checked and it's enabled. Alright, now on the main screen, there's a shield down here. Press the shield. Up at the top, you see Magisk hide. Press Magisk hide. <clears throat> Got into the games and stuff installed, so it takes a minute to load here. Alright. Go down to find my FUT22. There it is. Check the box. Oops. <laughs> Check the box. And then underneath it, make sure both of these are checked. Alright. Go back to Mad FUT22. Mad FUT22. And trading. There we go. So, that's the first step. This is how you get trading working and uh, on a rooted, rooted device, device rooted with Magisk, and uh, have Game Guardian working with Mad FUT22. Alright. Okay, let's show you the script now. Made a couple, or one big improvement, I should say, just to the. Uh, Today's PAX function. So again, you guys are going to be using my modded Game Guardian. Sorry, air conditioner just kicked out. Uh, hopefully you can hear me still. Try not to wake up the kids. Uh, you'll be using my modded Game Guardian, so you just press play and log in. You don't actually run the script. Alright. <clears throat> So, you see it says go to the pack screen after opening the game. Uh, that's because that is when I know it will work uh, 100%. Uh, if you go to other menus and stuff first, this might not work. So, make sure you go to the pack screen. Fix these packs. Give it a second to do its searches.
Alright, and as you can see, it says they've been fixed and that the silver, gold, and rare gold prices have not been changed. So please don't say, hey, you know, it's not working. The silver, gold, and rare gold prices are still normal. They're supposed to be normal. That's so the script can find the list of packs again when new packs are added to it. Because these packs remain after you've closed the game. The, uh, the changes remain. So the prices are going to stay negative. So in order to be able to find them again, when they add new packs to today's packs, these prices can't be changed. So you can buy other packs, get free money, and, uh, and then buy them. Alright. As you can see... I see they have the one up there once it reloads. There we go. So now you have unlimited packs from today's packs. Plus, you have uh, prices set to negative 10,000, so you get cash when you buy them. Or currency. Okay, sorry, I had to pause my recording for a second when my kids woke up and tried to get themselves in trouble. Anyway, <clears throat> so, I'll show you real quick. I had one of these. And we got open two of them, as you can see. I see, I still have that them available, so they are set to unlimited. Alright, uh, okay, I've opened, I've opened another pack, uh, Make sure I have, I have at least nine cards, because uh, this next part might not work if you have less than nine. So, right, this search can take a while sometimes. After this really long search, <laughs> and I show you this, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, the save updater. Uh, give yourself all players. Right now, it, it's got all players except for the uh, the objective reward player. Uh, just because I don't know if that's going to mess with anything if I add them. But it's got all the other players, and uh, and then it's got all the pa packs and picks that were in uh, Mad Fut Twenty One. Uh, it's got some fatal packs in there because they just ended up renaming some of the old ones. Uh, it's got some packs that I think they intended to remove because there's no pictures for them anymore, but they still work. So, I left them in there for now. There are several that there are three different types of, but they all are really the same pack. Uh, I might try to clean those out later. But, uh... The search is still going. <laughs> so, yes. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Yes, I know the search takes a long time. No, there really isn't anything I can do about it. <clears throat> it just, uh, it is what it is. But, it works. Watch well, it not work this time, because I just said it works. <laughs> but we'll see. Well, only got about, what, 28 more percent, 27 more.
sorry. Typing while I was waiting. <laughs> All right. There we go. Uh, after you add these. Oh, really? What happened? Uh, wait, there we go. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it missed two cards. But, uh, three cards. <laughs> So I did miss a few cards, um, but they all should have 50 duplicates uh, after you use a save updater. Uh, I mean, if this happens, I would say just quick sell one, make sure it saves, and uh, and you can restart the game and uh, try to do it again, and hopefully it'll catch the ones that it missed. I have not noticed it miss any before though. So it's hard to say. But we're gonna move on to the save updater. So for the save updater, uh only good thing about the yeah, security updates they made is I only need to make one uh, one video this time because only root users can use it. So you're going to want to get a file, uh, browser, explorer, whatever you want to call it. I'm using Solid Explorer. But you want one that has root access. And this is the folder up here that you're going to want to go to. Root data, root slash data slash data slash com dot matfut dot matfut22 slash shared underscore press and I'll just show you how to get there you go to your root folder data data and then you find the uh, mad FUT 22 folder and then shared press folder. Here's the file you need. mainactivity.xml So you're going to want to take it and copy it somewhere else to another folder. I'm copying mine into a folder named mattfet save that's in my download folder. But you can copy it wherever. Alright. This time, with MadFUD closed, it doesn't matter what game or what process you're attached to. Run the script again. So select XML file to update. We're going to go to the directory we copied that to and select it. And then add all players, add saved packs. Saved player picks and then uh, add the save, save to single card packs. Or exit. We're going to take our file. We're going to transfer that file back over to the original folder and overwrite it. Pick new or overwrite or whatever your file explorer manager says. Okay, you can see that it's the same size as the modified one now. All right, see the players up here. Collections at 99%. Like I said, the only one that's not unlocked is the objective reward here. Not sure if that will affect, uh, would affect the game or anything. So. Uh, if you already got the objective card, I'm not sure how it's going to work out for you. Uh, let me know if you get stuck without them. Uh, and I'll add them, I guess. Uh, but uh, 
That's all the card, uh, all the players there. Uh, we'll go to packs. All right, as you can see, like before, got all the different special single cards. Got all the different uh, player picks. Like I said, I think they intended to remove these ones from the game since there is no picture anymore, but they still work. And like I said, there's some fatal packs in here. So. Alright. I think that is everything. Yep. I do believe so. Alright, well, that is the new MadFUT22 script. Have a good one, everybody. Oh, that's right. Access available on my site by subscription. Uh... There's a weekly subscription, there's a uh, monthly, or not monthly, yearly subscription, or there is a monthly tier subscription where you can get, it, get access to uh, either all the different scripts in its tier, or you can then, uh, if you get the higher tier one, you can get access to all the scripts on the site for, uh, that's 15 a month access to all the scripts. But... Check out the site, badcase.org, get access to the script. And, uh, and remember, guys, don't get access until you're ready with your device. You need to have your device rooted, you need to have it rooted with Magisk, and you need to have it set up to hide uh, Mad uh, Magisk from MadFUT. So don't don't get get access and then not be able to use it because you didn't set your device up first. And I can't really do tech support for for rooting or any of that. You guys got to figure that out on your own. But once you do, go to the site, get access to the script. Have a good everybody. Good. <clears throat> excuse me. Have a good one, everybody.